Hi, I'm Jim Taylor at the Center, Seminole Plaza here outside of Tampa, Florida, where we downsized an 87,000 square foot Burlington to their brand new prototype and added this wonderful new Sprouts Farmer's Market. This is a great example of our purpose as a company, which is to create centers that truly are the center of the community they serve. For example, here we put $10 million of capital to work and an incremental return of 9%, creating over $5 million of incremental value. Importantly, we also drove follow-on leasing in our small shops, which increased by over 30%. As we like to say at Bricksmore, great real estate matters, but great people matter far more. I can't wait for you to meet the team that's delivered all of this value for our stakeholders. My name is Brett Milkey. I'm Vice President Redevelopment with Bricksmore Property Group. I've been here for a little over three and a half years now. Seminole Plaza offers many strengths to the community. Location at Main and Main, great tenant variety, and great daily needs uses. The project came together as a partnership with Burlington. They wanted to figure out a way to bring in their new prototype. Hi, I'm Mike Shanahan. I'm the Senior Vice President of Construction and Real Estate for Burlington Stores. The biggest advantage to Burlington doing smaller store is better store economics, higher returns, and a smaller greenhouse gas footprint. We studied the operational requirement to operate these smaller stores and we're confident that this is the right size store for us as we work towards our goal to operate 2,000 stores. We haven't really changed our approach to merchandising. The same categories are still represented. I'd say it's more about carrying less inventory, faster movement through the supply chain, more frequent deliveries to the store, and getting the goods to the floor faster. We have done considerable customer research over the last several years. When we were open and operating 80,000 square foot stores, the customers told us in focus groups loud and clear, the stores are too big, there's too much merchandise, they can't shop it. They wanted a smaller racetrack footprint so they can hunt for their treasures more efficiently and transact faster. The smaller footprint, as long as they can find their deals every visit, was better according to our customers. Hi, I'm Steve Kaufman. Senior Vice President, National Accounts. I've been in the National Accounts uh, for over 20 years. The National Account Program was started many years ago at Bricksmore as Bricksmore continued to grow its portfolio across the United States. With many of our national tenants, we wanted them to have a single point of contact for deal making, problem solving, construction issues. While many of the associates in both companies deal with each other, we assign a contact person or a national account rep to our top 25 tenants. The relationship between Bricksmore and Burlington has only strengthened throughout the years. As Burlington has grown, so has Bricksmore, and it's a real partnership as we have many opportunities throughout our portfolio to, to make successful Burlington deals. We have a really good alliance with them and they're problem solvers along with Bricksmore and there's a real communication between the two companies and we really understand each other's business very well which always makes for the best relationship. Understanding Burlington's needs to downsize in certain locations and high volume stores, we're able to put Burlington in the best box possible for an efficient shopping experience and at the same time being able to create good co-tenants that increase foot traffic at our shopping center. Today's Seminole Plaza offers a better variety of daily needs uses such as Sprouts as well as soft good users such as Burlington and TJ Maxx. The project started in fall of 2018 with Burlington trying to get their footprint reduced in time for the holiday shopping season the following year. After recapturing the residual space from Burlington in December of 2019, we immediately started construction on the Sprout space, which enabled them to open by September of 2020. The balance of the facades of the rest of the center were finished later that year for a total project duration of two years. As a result of the redevelopment, our small shop leasing is up with only one vacancy remaining. Renovating facades in the operating center is no small feat. You have to be very mindful of the design as you approach the project. One thing that we implemented at this project was an actual separate anchor facade detail that stood separate from the building, which allowed the anchor to remain open during construction while not interrupting their operations. 
The design for the rest of the center was meant to take cues from the Burlington and Sprouts facades while still creating interest of their own. In order to improve the customer shopping experience, we added pergolas and bench seating throughout the common areas to close the gaps between the junior anchor spaces. As a result of the reinvestment, we've noticed that our existing customers come to the center more frequently and we pulled in new customers because of our daily needs driver. Having grown up in the area, being able to redevelop Seminole Plaza was a really great way to be able to give back to the community that raised me.